Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 11 build to look at. This is build 22000.100 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. So another Windows 11 build. And what's interesting with this one is it's um, a another cumulative upgrade. So you don't have to do the full build uh, sort of hour install or whatever. This is just a, a, a small update. It took about 10 minutes to download and install and then just one reboot and it's all in. So that's making these builds a lot quicker to install and get up and running. There's a few new features in here and uh, here's the first one. I've got the chat icon there which is powered by Microsoft Teams. So here's the new Teams integration and um, all my contacts are in there. It's synced up with everything so uh, yeah that's that's good so I can open it in Teams. I can do a new chat And that's built straight into into Windows 11. Now another change is when you go to the more icons, you can see this is now the Windows 11 style rather than the, the Windows 10 Square style, so which looks good. And over in uh, notifications, you see we've got um, focus assist settings are there as well, which is a new thing. And you see another new feature is the chevron there to collapse or show the calendar, which uh, I really like. That's that's a nice new change. The Microsoft Store has been updated. Uh, navigation. Sorry, I don't know that. So when you Microsoft say when you select something, you should see uh, animations. Thing. Oh, there we go. So you can see how that. App animation works, it kind of slides across like that. Yeah, I quite like that. The rest of the change, there's a, there's a couple of things I can't show you, like um, when some apps get uh, notifications, they get your attention at the bottom with a little, little red dot. I don't think I can show you that. Oh, there you go. I can trigger that. Yeah, there you can see um, you get a notification like that when uh, someone's trying to get your attention. I actually quite like that. That looks nice and smooth. It's a lot better than the old way of working. So the rest of the changes are mainly fixes. They fixed some issues where the Explorer would crash. Um, when you click down on the date time here at the bottom, I've definitely had that a few times. It would crash and restart Explorer. So they fixed that. They fixed some uh, issues with uh, when you click on these settings down here at the bottom as well. Add some progress bar issues as well. There's a whole list, uh, long list actually, um, and I'll include a full link on the digitallifestyle.com with all the the changes. And they, they fixed the issues with um, settings in like um, going back to PC reset. That's um, that's been now fixed, so you can do the PC resets back through there. Uh, they fixed some issues with settings crashing and power um, and power settings. They fixed some issues with File Explorer. Um, so when you click on a new folder, sometimes it wasn't always working. They fixed that and they fixed some uh, issues where working with zip files it would crash as well. And um, they fixed said issues with search and uh, not too many issues with search and they said the web uh, widgets have been uh, there's some issues with widgets been fixed as well some DW memory links as well memory leaks that have been fixed so in terms of uh, known issues um, in some cases you may not be able to enter text when using search from the start menu or from the taskbar so I'm guessing that's when you go into there and search for something like task manager that wouldn't work but as you can see it's working fine on there uh, some set settings may uh, flash occasionally and explorer may be get uh, stuck in a loop when you're on Turkish display language when the battery charge is 100% interesting now they find these funny combinations and if there's issues with search and um, and there's issues with the store as well which uh, some results might not come back accurately I found the store actually pretty good as well so those are the main issues anyway 
Windows 11 is looking more polished every time I, I try a new build of it now and I do like this look especially with these curved edges like things like the notifications um, the new start menu the new file explorer I, I think it's all looking good and uh, I'm using it on my surface go here I've been using it for a while apart from those explorer crashes I just talked about it's been working great for me uh, so I'm enjoying using Windows 11. So this is the for beat for the dev channel. It will be coming to beta channel soon. We generally release probably toward October, November, December this year. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the